In this video, you'll see a demonstration of Car to Cloud, or C2C, firmware over the air, or FOTA, and its workflow. You'll see an overview of the architecture with objectives, then the demo setup and some scripts. Finally, you'll see a FOTA upgrade demo on a device. The demo has three objectives. To complete OTA update workflow that involves new architectures, such as C2C Edge Hub and OTA Manager, TeleF Update Service, and Network Access Device, or NAD, core software. Primarily, the flow on the device side uses ES3 candidate release. The second one is the overall system integration of software components from Cognizant, Corota, C2C, and the NAD team. The TeleF update service plays a central role in facilitating the integration of software components designed independently by different parties. And the last one is OTA integration at the NAD level. It involves Memory Robustness Criteria, MRC, Daemon, NAD Update Agent, TeleF Update Service, etc. This is a diagram of the C2C FOTA architecture. For third-party components, we have Corota Server on the cloud side and Master DA Download Agent on the device side. Corota Server connects to Master DA, and Master DA provides an API to download the FOTA package from Corota Server. For C2C components, we have a web portal to upload the package to C2C Cloud. On the device side is C2C Edge Hub to talk to C2C Cloud. OTA Manager runs the photo workflow. For TeleF and NAD core components, the TeleF update service talks to many other components and provides simple APIs to the client. Download APIs support the downloading of packages. Install APIs support the installation of the firmware. When installing the firmware, TeleF Update Service talks to the MRC daemon and the recovery client. Sync APIs support synchronization to the inactive slot from the active slot. Version APIs support the query of the firmware version. The box in the upper left allows for third parties and OEMs who have their own streaming update solution. TeleF Update Service provides MRC APIs to get the MRC state partition hash APIs to get the hash, and flash access APIs to read and write partitions and volumes. MRC daemon is for memory robustness handling and arbitration. The recovery client handles update packages and UA is the update agent. This slide shows the demo setup. On the right in the photo, you see the C card. It's a Snapdragon Auto 5G Modem RF 8 plus 8 interposer with a SIM card inserted to set up the data call. There are USB cables for ADB and console output. For software, the MetaBuild 38 NAT core release is flashed and the boot image to upgrade. To provision the device, there is a certificate, a provisioning key, and configuration files for registration. This diagram shows the photo demo flow. In step one, you initiate a download task on cloud. In step two, the NAD device gets notification to download after receiving user consent. In step three, after receiving user consent, the NAD device installs the new image and reboots. In step four, the NAD device reports its status to the server. This slide shows some demo scripts. In step one, you initiate a download task by uploading a photo package to the server, for example, in Web Portal, select Bentley as the model, Telematics TCU as the device, and tick the Is Different Image box. Then click the Open button and upload the photo package, and you'll see that the photo upgrade task for Bentley Telematics has been created, as shown below. On the device side, you can check the status of the OTA daemon process. In the OTA Manager log, a message shows that the OTA Manager has successfully connected to C2C, so the OTA Manager is able to receive messages from the C2C Edge Hub. In the C2C Edge Hub log, you can see that the C2C Edge Hub has successfully connected to the cloud through MQTT. Since the device is ready, you can send a new firmware notification to the NAD device. For example, in the web portal, we select Bentley as the model. Select the script for new firmware notification. Select the update window and click Update. 
On the device side, the log shows that the OTA manager received the notification and sent user consent to download. Now you can run the download consent accept.sh script. The OTA manager gets the user consent and calls the update service API to download the packages. That ends step one and kicks off step two. You can monitor the progress of the download in the update service log, where you'll see download percentage and the finish state message. Once the download is finished, the OTA manager will send user consent to install the firmware. That takes you to step three. In step three, run the install consent accept.sh script. The OTA manager gets the user consent and calls the update service API to install the firmware. In the update service log, you see that update service sends the install start message to the MRC daemon. The recovery client starts to install the firmware. When the recovery client has finished the installation, the update service sends the install finish message to the MRC daemon. In the update service log, you see NAD update success. The OTA manager then sends user consent to reboot the device. Run the reboot consent accept.sh script. The NAD device boots to the active slot, here, slot B, and the new firmware is installed. Use the AB control tool to check the slot before and after reboot. In step four, the NAD device reports success after probation. In the update service log, the download agent reports the status and the update service goes back to idle state for the next update task. The OTA manager publishes the message to the server. The DB on the cloud side shows the progress status. 3 indicates the state of downloading, 4 indicates successful download, 6 indicates the download was successfully installed, 5 indicates reboot. In the web portal, you can see the status of the update task for model Bentley. Next, go to the NAD device and run commands within ADB shell. Check the OTA manager first. The message OTA core connect successful indicates that the OTA manager is connected to the C2C edge hub. Then check the C2C edge hub. The message no need to device provision, it's already provisioned, tells you that the C2C edge hub is connected to C2C cloud. Use the log tool to search log messages. You can monitor the update service log by searching for the keyword TAF update. Similarly, you can use the log tool to monitor the MRC daemon with the keyword MRC. Next, run user consent subscribe.sh, the script for getting user consent. Once you've determined that the device is ready, you can move to the web portal. Upload the photo package by clicking Configuration, OTA, OTA Files, and New File. In this example, select Volvo XC90 as the model and Telematics TCU as the device. Tick the different image box and click open. Select the photo package with version Snapdragon Auto 5G Modem RF LE 2.6. Enter for photo demo as the description and click upload. In this case, since the photo package has already been uploaded, we'll click cancel. The web portal shows that the photo package for Volvo XC90 with version 2.6 has been uploaded to the server. Then you need to create scripts for this package. Click Scripts, then click the New Script button. For this example, enter the script name as New Firmware Notification. Select Gear P from the preconditions. Select Volvo XC90 as the model. Enter new firmware notification as the notes. Select the device Telematics TCU. To enter current OTA file, you may need to go back to the device to check the version. In this case, we determine that the current OTA version is Snapdragon Auto 5G Modem RF LE 2.1 and select it from the dropdown in the web portal. For the new OTA file, select Snapdragon Auto 5G Modem RF LE 2.6, the version we uploaded to the server a moment ago. Finally, click Save. In this case, since the script has already been created, we'll click Cancel. Here you see that script ID 40 has been created for the script name New Firmware Notification. On the right, you see that the source version is 2.1 and the target version is 2.6 
for the model Volvo XC90. To send the new firmware notification to the device, click Updates, then click OTA, then click New Update. Select Volvo XC90 as the model. Select New Firmware Notification as the script. Select the beginning and ending dates in the Update window. Click Update. On the NAD device, Message Arrived from Cloud indicates that the C2C Edge Hub received a message from C2C Cloud and sent notification to the OTA Manager. The OTA Manager sends the user consent for download. Please send acceptance response to initiate download. To accept and start the download, run the script download consent accept.sh. The OTA manager gets the user consent and calls the update service API to download the package. The update service log shows the progress of the download until the status download success. Once the download is finished, the OTA manager will send user consent for firmware installation. Please send acceptance response to initiate install. Thus, you can accept and start the install by running the script install consent accept.sh. The OTA manager gets user consent and calls the update service API to install the package. The message service log shows that the update service sends an install OTA start message to the MRC daemon. The MRC daemon log shows that the daemon checks partition integrity before installation, and the recovery client starts to install the firmware. When the installation is finished, the update service sends an install OTA end message to the MRC daemon. Check the recovery log for the NAD update success message. Next is a request for user consent to reboot. Please send acceptance response to initiate reboot. The recovery log shows that slot A has been set as active. Use the AB control tool to check the current boot slot, currently B. Now accept the reboot by running the script reboot consent accept.sh and the device reboots. The AB control tool shows that the current boot slot is A, indicating that the NAD device is successfully rebooted with the slot that installs the new firmware. When you search the update service log for TAF update, you see that the probation time started after reboot. After probation, the update service sends an OTA sync message to the MRC daemon, which syncs the active slot to the inactive slot, so that the slots have the same new firmware. The update service log shows that the AB synchronization was successful. The update service returns to the idle state for the next update task. Take a look at the vehicle identification number, VIN, which is 0004 in this case. At the web portal, you can check the update status. Clicking the task shows that 33% of vehicles have accepted the update and 0% have completed the update. Clicking the model Volvo XC90 shows that of total three vehicles listed, only VIN 0004 has the status success. One out of three equals 33%. After a moment, when you refresh the web portal, you see that 33% have accepted the update and 33% have completed it. So the photo flow is completed. Thanks for watching. Please watch the next video in our Tele app series, The Car to Cloud Soda Demo.